How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, here on the channel I've reviewed a bunch of different gaming keyboards, reviewed mechanical membranes, scissor switches, I've reviewed uh, RGB, non-RGB, some of them have removable uh, numpads, and all are just different features that the keyboards have. Now, the problem that I've ran into with all of these keyboards is that they do have features here and there. Uh, for instance, some have RGB, some have the removable numpad, all of that. But you don't really get a single keyboard that has almost everything in one. So, again, even the most expensive ones, usually they're really nice, but they don't have everything that I personally would like in a keyboard. And this is kind of where the Logitech G110 comes in. Now it's still not the ultimate package, everything that I would want, but it comes pretty damn close. And the problem with this keyboard nowadays is that you don't get them anymore. They have been discontinued by Logitech. And after this one, I haven't really seen any other keyboard that has almost everything for relatively not a too bad price. Now, I don't really mind paying a bit more if I do get everything that I want, but none of the keyboards that I've even reviewed come pretty close to what this one actually delivers, and this is a pretty old keyboard. This is probably the second or third gaming keyboard that I personally have bought. But now, all of this is just my personal opinion. Some of you might disagree with what I'm going to say here. And if you do, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, we can talk about it and just figure out where everybody stands. But I want to make this a video going just over all of the features that this keyboard has and just why no manufacturers is actually producing any more keyboards like this or even a better than this. Because again, this isn't the best keyboard out there. It's just has a ton of features that some of the newer, even like over $200 gaming keyboards does not have. And I just wanna find out why. Why don't we have this one keyboard that just has everything that you would need? Now, sometimes, for instance, if you have a palm raise, not everybody wants a palm raise, but a lot of people do. And if it is there, you can use it. Even though you won't always use it, it is an option that you can use it. So in this video, I just want to go over everything that I do love about this Logitech G110 and just ask why some of the keyboards nowadays don't have even close as much features as this one has, which is pretty older nowadays. And also it's relatively cheap. So I just want to go over all of that. But with all of that being said, let's jump into today's video right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. So go check out rebeltech.co.za to get the products you are looking for at a low price. So starting off, I just want to clarify again that this is not the best gaming keyboard out there. It does have a lot of flaws. It still needs some extra features just to make it that much better. For instance, it's not a mechanical keyboard. It's still just a normal membrane. Membranes is fine, but honestly, mechanicals would be it would have been a lot better. Also, uh, the left shift is tiny. Uh, also, it's not fully RGB. This was the time before full RGB was out, so you only get between like a blue, a pink, and a red, I believe. So it's not full RGB, and it's not overly bright even at that. So that's kind of a, a bummer. And then as for the USB pass-through, yes, it has a USB pass-through. It is unfortunately only USB 2 and you can't power an external hard drive. So it's really low power. So if you can only use like a, a flash drive or for instance, your mouse, that's the only thing that it'll be able to power, uh, which is unfortunate because nowadays you do get some keyboards that have USB 3 pass-throughs and you can power an external hard drive. But as for all of the good features that this keyboard has, and believe me, there are plenty of them, is first up, the price. This keyboard, even when I bought it a few, a uh, couple of years back, more than five years back, it was inexpensive. Now, I was looking between this one and the, the Manticore, the Genius Manticore, 
and just everything that this one has was going for around 1,100 Rand, which is probably $80 around there, which is pretty expensive still, but just everything you got was just really made it worth it. Nowadays, you can get it for so much cheaper. Currently, it's going for 600 or less than 650 Rand on Rebel Tech here in South Africa. And it's going around $60 on Amazon, which even still today is a really good bargain. But now getting into the features of this keyboard, first up we have the palm rest. So yes, you do get a palm rest, which is awesome. It's not the best palm rest out there. It's only plastic, you don't get a rubberized material or anything like that, but it is, it is there and you can use it and it really works a lot better if you want to type a lot. Also you get 12 G keys with three different profiles and then also on the fly macro recording, which is awesome. Uh, you can't use any of the other keys to record onto, but honestly, that's completely fine. I don't use G keys that much, but to have the option to use them is really awesome. You also get up here uh, the gaming disable mode, so you can disable your uh, Windows key, so you don't accidentally press that when gaming. And then on the right side here, you have your media controls. Now, a lot of keyboards these days, to keep it clean, they put it as a secondary function where you have to press the FN key, which I honestly don't really like. It it's a, takes a lot longer to press that and use it, so I don't really like that. To have dedicated media keys is a really nice addition. So you get your play, pause, next, skip, all of that. You get your mute button and then also a volume wheel, which when I use this keyboard, I would use every single time. It's just that much easier and it works really well. Now, after that, you do get, again, your USB pass through. It is unfortunately only USB 2 and it, it's not a really powerful USB 2 like I talked about before, but it is there, you can use it and it's awesome. Even some of the more expensive keyboards these days, they don't really have a USB 2 or even a USB pass through. Uh, and I don't really understand why. It's a really nice addition to have that. You can either plug in your mouse, your external hard drive, which I honestly do quite a lot, just because it's there, it's easy. Or even if you have a wireless headset, you'd plug that into it as well. Now after that, and this is something that I honestly didn't, haven't seen on any of the keyboards that I've reviewed in probably the last two years, is audio pass-throughs. And I don't understand why. Now I know not a lot of people is going to use it, but if it's there, you can. And that's the thing. You're not always gonna use everything in your car or on a, on a, on a keyboard, but to have the option is just the best thing. Now for the audio pass-throughs, they're not the best, uh, they do lower the quality quite a bit, so if you plug it directly into your, your computer, it's gonna sound better, but honestly for gaming, it's gonna be completely fine. So you get your mic pass through and just your audio pass through, and you can mute them on the keyboard itself, which is really cool. You can most of the times do it with the headset on its own, but you do have that option, and that's what I'm going for here. And then also, even though it's just a normal membrane keyboard, it's nice to type on. I have wrote a bunch, a bunch of different reviews with this keyboard and it was always a nice experience. Along with that, it's still plastic. Nor normally mechanical keyboards are a lot stronger, but even though it's my membrane and it's plastic, it's still sturdy enough to handle a rough, if you drop it, it'll sh it should be fine. I've taken this to a bunch of different LAN events. And you know, if you're going to a LAN, you're not always the most careful with your, with your hardware. And this keyboard was able to handle all of that with no problem. Everything still works on the keyboard and it's honestly just awesome. The only thing is I had to clean it yesterday and that was kind of an issue. It does have a ton of screws to open it up. So that's pretty much the only thing that it's kind of a drawback. So now after going over all of the features for the Logitech G110, I just want to hear from you guys quickly. Do you have any idea of any other keyboards that actually does have that much of features? Now again, it's not the best at all. Uh, it doesn't do everything excellently, but it kind of does everything. And that's what I want to go for. If they can make a keyboard that does everything and everything excellently, then 
that's gonna be the best keyboard out there. And if it does cost a pretty penny, then for the best keyboard, I, I will pay that just to have everything in one single package. Now, there are also other keyboards that has a ton of different features and that comes pretty close to this one, but I did have to kind of go through a bunch of them to see all of the different features that the keyboard has. And the only two that actually comes pretty close to this one is the Rokat Ryos MKFX, which does have dedicated G keys. It's RGB, it is mechanical, it has an audio pass through, but unfortunately it does not have any dedicated media controls or a USB pass through, which is weird because the previous version, the Pro, did have a USB pass through. And then you do also get the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Stealth, which has a USB pass through and then also audio pass through, but it doesn't have a dedicated media controls. It doesn't have the dedicated G keys. So that is kind of unfortunate again. So. That just really makes the G110 the ultimate package. And even the more expensive keyboards usually don't have all of these features that this budget keyboard has, which is astonishing. Now, Logitech did discontinue this one, like I mentioned before. Now they have the G105, which doesn't even come close to what the features this keyboard has. And again, this keyboard goes for around, at the moment, 650 Rand on Revoltech here in South Africa, or $60 on Amazon, which honestly, it's astounding that nobody really goes for this keyboard, just everything it has. So now, in the end, I wanna find out from you guys, what do you think of the Logitech G110? It's an old keyboard, but it does have kind of everything that you would want, except most likely it's not mechanical or, or full RGB, but probably that's the only two things that this keyboard doesn't have. And this is from a keyboard that's a, a couple of years old and it's relatively cheap. So why aren't there any new keyboards, new higher end keyboards or anything that has the amount of features that this keyboard has or just improves on everything that this keyboard has? Now, the only thing that I can think of is that the manufacturers don't really want to make the one ultimate keyboard because then nobody would buy any of the other stuff. But come on, you, for us customers, we want the best keyboard out there. And if it's more expensive, there's a lot of people that still goes for the Corsair K95 Platinum, the Razer Huntsman, and then also just there's a bunch of different ones out there that is quite expensive, but the people goes for it because it's one of the best keyboards out at the moment. So that is my question to the manufacturers and to you guys. Let me know what you think um, and then also what you would like in a the best keyboard out there. What is your best keyboard that you can think of and what you would also pay for that keyboard. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment like always. And then I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.